Hi everybody, this is Shelly, and I'm going to do a haul for you really quickly. Um, I've gotten a few things over the last, I don't know, week and a half or so, and I've just been kind of saving them up to just do one haul because I don't want to do just a bunch of little bitty hauls. It, The editing and everything takes long enough that I would rather just put it kind of all together. Plus, I haven't really opened very many of the things, so I've been able to just kind of put them in a little basket and keep them set aside for whenever I want to do my haul. The first thing I want to show you is an order that I got from Tokyo Pin Shop and if you haven't checked out Tokyo Pin Shop go check them out because they have really really great prices. They have kind of the same deal that Jet Pins has where if you spend $25 they ship your order for free and I ordered and she shipped the same day and I got it like from the day she shipped it I had it within two days and it was just first class shipping, but they're here in the United States, and um, she had really good prices. I got this, okay, I'll show you the pin, which this is just the packaging. So I got this Kakuno um, fountain pen, and these are by Pilot, and it's kind of like a starter fountain pen, uh, but they're super, super cute. Um, it's got the little smiley face on the nib. I got the fine point, which they say writes like, an, uh, the Japanese fine point writes like an American extra fine, which is kind of true, but I love the extra fine, um, and I love this pen. So since I've opened it, I'll show you the pen. I got the pink, and um, it's kind of a big barrel. It doesn't have a clip or anything on it, but the barrel's like, you can kind of see it's, you know, got flat sides on it. And then when you open it, of course, mine's got kind of, I don't know if you can see that. I can't really tell in my viewfinder. But it is a fine a fine tip, nib, not tip. But the barrel is like a triangle barrel that's similar to like a Lamy Safari. And it's super, super comfortable. I love kind of the fatter grip barrels. Um, it's not like a rubbery grip or anything. It's just, and you can kind of see through it. But it just, um, I believe you can buy, it It just, it takes a cartridge, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can use, um, you can buy the converter, like a pilot converter and put in there. Um, I like this better than my Metropolitan. Um, it writes really smooth. It was like $16, maybe $16.99, and they had, um, you know, several different colors. And then I believe if you get... I don't know, some of them come with a white barrel and then more of a pastel lid. So I also bought, it comes with an ink cartridge in it, <clears throat> but I also bought a couple of things of ink. So I got this 12 pack of blue black ink, which is my favorite. And that's what I have in it right now. This was $4 by the way. So if you're looking for really affordable ink cartridges, check them out because they were cheaper there on Tokyo Pin Shop than they were on Jet Pins and on Amazon, I believe. And then I got this pink um, ink as well. And this one was $2 for five. I believe the colors like this, they only came in the five pack, but you could get the black, blue black, and I'm not sure what other colors in the 12 pack. So I got this one and I actually have the pink ink in my Pilot Metropolitan right now and I really, really do like that. But I wouldn't mind getting another one of these and filling this one with pink and putting the blue black in another color. And then the other thing that I picked up was this Uniball Signal and is this color is Bordeaux I believe and it's a 3.8 and this is a beautiful beautiful color. Um, it feels a little scratchy to me just because I'm not real fond of the 3.8 but I really really like this color and this writes really well in my Hobonichi and in my Filofax and it doesn't bleed through so and it's you know it's a gel pin and then I have a couple of things that's all I got from there and I have a couple of things that I picked up just kind of random places and I went to Tuesday morning to buy I think it was when I bought my um, French press coffee maker and I bought I, I just I was up at the register and they have they always have like little um, little notepads and things by the register and I picked up this and this is just a little um, what do you call it just a sticky notepad and it is like a speech bubble but if you follow me 
and you watch my videos, you know that I'm going to college right now to be a high school English teacher. And so even though I won't be able to really use these for a couple of years, I thought I would pick them up because they're super cute. And they were 99 cents. <clears throat> the next kind of random thing is this set of craft stickers from Target Dollar Spot. And I just like these, so I'll get these usually when I find them. Um, our Target Dollar Spot's been kind of sparse lately. So I picked up a couple of things here and there. I think I got one set of the watercolor page flags. Um, and I think I got one of the little sticky notes. But... I, most of what ours has right now is just Easter themed stuff. So I don't like to have a lot of the, the, the themed stuff just because I don't use it. I mean, I don't use the post-it stick or the target sticky notes unless they're, you know, just like little note lists or something like that, just because they don't stick very well. And I honestly don't use sticky notes that often. So I'm, I just haven't picked anything up. Um, the next thing I picked up, I've been looking at these for quite a while. And then I saw on Cory the Reset Girls channel where she had used them in her file effects. And they were just too cute not to get. And that is these little, the little monster stickers. And these are from Walmart. It's the only place I've ever seen them. And I picked up two. I've already opened one and used them. But they're just super cute. And they remind me of the monsters on Monsters, Inc. And so I had to get a couple of those. And I believe everything else that I have is from Joann's. And I got all of this stuff during their 50% um, off paper crafting sale. And they had that for two weeks. And I had a 20% extra on top of that coupon. Because March is my birthday month. And so they sent that to me. And then right now I have a 25% extra off. But I think it's only good till the 17th. So if they're still having their 50% off paper crafting sale, I may go back and pick up a few more of these Studio 112 things because you can't pass up a 25 cent, you know, thing of stickers or whatever. So here's a couple of the things that I picked up. And um, I got this, which I've already opened, these um, little washies. And I love the little, like, they look like kind of like fish scales, I guess. But I picked up that one, and then I picked up these two, and I got the the one with the mustaches, the glasses, and the bow ties. And then this one is kind of that same little scale print with in gold, and then the black with the white hearts. And the one thing I have noticed about these little cheap washies is that you have to really you have to look at them close because a lot of times they'll be cut I bought a bunch of those thin ones <coughs> when they first opened that section up <coughs> excuse me and the way that they're printed sometimes is off center and so you have to be really careful um because if they're cut off center then they don't look right <coughs> so from that section I also picked up this list pad I just got the black and white because it matches everything and I like the little circle check boxes so I got that one and then I picked up these two sets of the die cut cardstock pieces and I didn't get the other one the blue green purple one just because they're all the same shapes so <clears throat> I figured, I don't know, if I go back and get more of this stuff, then I'll probably go ahead and pick up that other color, but for now, I didn't get them. And then, I have been buying these alphabet stickers, um, and I have the green, the, maybe, I don't know, I have at least the green and the craft one, and I might have gotten the black, is there black, I don't know. I have three already, so I picked up these three because these were the three that I didn't already have. So so I got those, and then I picked up one of each colorway of these as well, and these are just the stickers that are like little flags and tags and whatnot. And then that's all the Studio 112 stuff, and then I picked up these two little, they're like little matchbooks, these Teresa Collins, and this is from the Studio Gold line, and it's just a little flip book. Uh, alphabet and numbers and they're similar to the studio until they're just smaller and it has you know I don't even know how many pages six pages of these and they also have this one in black and white and then maybe the reverse black 
and white, you know, where it's the opposite. And then I also picked up this one, and it's also a six-page studio called, or Teresa Collins. And each of the pages has these, and they're just like these tiny little tags. They're kind of like a cardstock tag. But I have, I think these would probably fit really nicely into an Erin Condren. Um, but, you know, you use them in your Hobonichi. You can use them for pictures. Um, I just, I liked the arrow. I really liked the little camera and the hello. I don't know. I liked several of them. So I figured, I think these ended up being like $1.79 a piece, something like that. They were really cheap. So, <clears throat> so I picked up those and then I picked up two of the Project Life card sets. I just got the 40 pack. Um, I got this one with the love and it's just the, you know, kind of a shabby chic look with, um, the pinks and turquoises and stuff. So I got that one. And then I got this one, which I probably would never look at in a million years, except for we got a new puppy, our first puppy ever, about five weeks ago. And so I decided to get these because I thought they were super cute. So yeah, so I got those. <clears throat> and then the last thing I got, I just realized a few minutes ago <clears throat> that actually goes with the kit thing which I did not get but it's this um Heidi Swap okay so my Joann's has this mink system by Heidi Swap which I'm sure everybody's seen well this drew me in you know all the gold all the pretty pink and gold blue and gold and I just realized when I opened this up a minute ago that it actually looks like this so Ideally, you have the mink system, you have your foil sheets, you have everything. And then all of these things that are black, when you run them through with a foil on top, it turns that to the foiled, which, you know, obviously I don't have the mink system. Um, I believe my Joann's only had one of them, and I didn't even look to see how much they were because I know it's not something I would ever use. And so, you know, maybe if I was a scrapbooker, like a paper scrapbooker still, it might be something that I would spend my money on. But for what little bit of paper crafting I do like which my with my journals and things, I'm not going to spend the money on that. So, right now, they're just black stickers. So, that's fine. Um, my Joann's, and I don't know if she did separate lines for separate stores or what, but Michael's has this whole line of neat little things, you know, like little books that have washi shaped stickers in them and like all these neat cute embellishments and stickers and things but Joann's only has the things that you run through the mink so I went to Michael's to look at all of this stuff and I went on Saturday Michael's had no paper crafting things on sale like nothing not even 25% off recollections there was nothing on sale at Michael's this week for like paper crafting slash journaling, you know, the kind of things that I do. So I don't know about you guys, but when I have a 25% off of, you know, on top of all of the other good sale things at Joann's, I'm not going to pay a full price for anything at Michael's. So I guess what I'll do is just watch for you know, that stuff to go on sale, and then I'll go pick up some of that there. I noticed, I watched um, Florence's last video where she decorated her um, week 12 in her new Erin Condren, and she used a lot of the really cute Heidi Swap stuff, and it was f the stuff from Michael's. So I really do want to pick some up. I'm just not going to pay a full price for it because I can get it on sale at some point. And like Joanne sent me that coupon for the 20% off and it was on top of everything else you know it was on top of clearance it was on top of whatever sale price they already had sorry my phone is like going crazy but and that was for my birthday I got the same one from Michaels a 20% off but it was only on regular priced items so I mean I guess if nothing else if it never goes on sale I can just get those and I don't even know if it was it may have just even been for one item so, I don't know. Michael's sales aren't nearly as good as Joann's. And my Michael's is real spotty on what they have. Like, so, they don't always have, you know, a big selection of all of these things when they first come out. Like, whenever the Heidi Swap Project Life kits came out, the gold and the glitter, 
Um, mine never did get them. They have them now, but, um, and eventually I do want to get one of the gold kits, even though I don't do, um, you know, like Project Life. I just use the cards in my journals. But anyway, so that is my haul. I've gotten a few things here and there from other places, but this is kind of the stuff that I was able to kind of keep all together. Um, and I did get my little Fobonichi from Taiwan. Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time using it just because I don't have time. Um, this semester has been really, really crazy for me at school. And I'm reading so much for class and, you know, I have a lot of papers due and a lot of projects and things like that. So I just haven't had as much time. So I'm going to, I'm on spring break this week. So I'm going to try to get caught up in it and then we'll see how it goes from there. So anyways, um, that's all I have. And I'll probably end up editing the crap out of this video because there's a bunch of stuff I probably just need to cut out. But anyways, that's all I have. And thanks for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.